I'm Edie Lush and I'm here at Hub Culture at the World Climate Summit. Absolutely delighted to be joined now by the two co-founders of Sun Culture. Thanks for stopping by. You just received an award, uh, Samir Ibrahim, Charlie Nichols, co-founders of Sun Culture. First of all, tell me what it is and what you guys are doing. Yeah, sure. We design and sell solar-powered drip irrigation systems mm -hmm. that make it cheaper and easier for farmers to grow. Okay, and you're based in where? We're based in Nairobi. Okay. And tell me a little bit about how about how it works, how the farmers you've worked with have changed the kind of idea of these products. Sure, absolutely. Well, from an engineering and a design perspective, we think that it's very important to build a product with the customer in mind, not just design something at an Ivy League institution and parachute it in and expect that product to work in a harsh setting like a rural African environment. So when we design products, we go into the field with prototypes, we do a lot of back and forth with the customer to be able to engage them and figure out what they want. And for example, that's had a, that's had a very significant change on the way that we develop and market our products. Initially, we created a bundle and we insisted that every customer had to get the same thing because we thought that that was the best way to kind of introduce this product. And we found out that customers actually have very different needs. Your farm that's one acre may be very, very different from my farm that's one acre. So we created a lot more flexibility in our solution. We were able to design it so that each product is bespoke and customized to that customer. And we found that it works much, much better that way. So how does that work? How would, how would a drip irrigation system on my farm be different from yours? You might have different needs. Your water source might be really far, it might be really close, your farm size might be different. But we have to make sure that your solution is for you. And that Charlie's solution is for him and my solution is for me. And that there's quality throughout all the solutions that we provide. And how have you ch seen your technology change people's farms? I'll tell you a really quick story. Mm -hmm. um, our first farmer, his name is Peter, and when we first met him, he wasn't irrigating. He was using the rain to grow maize and potatoes, mm -hmm. and he was making $600 a year. Mm -hmm. After working with Sun Culture and using our agro solar irrigation kit, he's now making $18,000 a year. Mm -hmm. That sort of transformation, the transition from subsistence farming to commercial farming, mm -hmm. is something that we think all smallholder farmers globally can achieve, and that's what we want to make happen. And I was interested when you guys were on stage today collecting your award, well done, um, uh, about the difference between the product and the service that you were offering, that, that change from your initial business plan to what you do now, is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's, Charlie's designed this amazing product, mm -hmm. and we go and we start selling it to farmers, and we realize that farmers need more than just technology. Mm -hmm. They need systems and structures in place to help them gain the maximum value from that. So we have to be a one-stop shop for small older farmers. We have this amazing solar power drip irrigation technology. We also have to do the insulation, the training, the after sale support, and the agronomy support in-house. That's what they need to do very well. And tell me about the design. Are you going to tweak it now, or are you going to be in different markets? What's the next? Absolutely, we're constantly, constantly tweaking the design. And right now, we're we're very excited to be working on a new project mm -hmm. to be able to take the technology that we have and make it even more affordable, leveraging the power of mobile money. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be integrating a mobile money-based solution mm -hmm. to enable farmers to pay for irrigation as a service. Mm -hmm. so instead of having to make that big upfront investment, they can spread that cost over time, which makes it much more affordable and it enables more and more farmers to be able to access this technology. Yeah. Does it feel like a, a sort of combination is sort of the right time for all these things. I've heard a whole lot about how mobile payments are changing the base actually of renewables. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're seeing a number of really massive successes in the field. Uh, M. Copa, Off Grid Electric are, are two very well known examples. And we're looking to do that same kind of disruptive energy service, but coming at it from an agricultural perspective instead of a strictly lighting and energy perspective. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, very much for stopping Thank you very by. Much. Thank you so much. Stand here at the World Climate Summit, and I'm Edie.